going on YouTube? It's your boy Disobeyish. Back with another Suron X video. Don't really have much planned for today. Heading to the store. Gotta go pick up some uh, medication for my glaucoma. Nah, I don't have glaucoma. I got a uh, restless night syndrome. And so I gotta go pick up my herbs and uh, medicine. How's everybody going today? It's the last Saturday in January. 2021 is uh, moving pretty quickly, I must say. about 60 degrees here in the Bay Area today. Sunny, nice. We had rain mostly all week, but uh, got a little bit of a break right now. Should be back on uh, either tomorrow or Monday. So I figured I needed to get out and get a ride in. I haven't been on my bike in about a week. Got a couple things planned for you guys. Just trying to get everything situated. We'll do another tutorial video. Super excited about it. The last one I did, the uh, three times upgrade tutorial. Seemed like you guys liked it. I know it was pretty long, but uh, like I said in the uh, comments or in the description, I just uh, I may, wanted to make sure that you guys had enough information. So uh, yeah, I didn't want to cut anything out that uh, I thought was vital to the to the video. Uh, right now I'm on this uh, busy street here in uh, the East Bay. So I definitely need to make sure that I'm. Uh, watching what I'm doing. Finally got a uh, mirror on the bike, so at least I can see behind me now without having to turn my head. So if you guys did watch that other video, you already know, I upgraded to the uh, 52 tooth sprocket, and, uh, or no, is it 54? Shit, I don't even remember. I think it's 52, but it might be 54. Let's call it 54. Uh, the 54 tooth two piece sprocket. Um, this thing is a beast. The torque on it is amazing now. The bike basically uh, wants to lift the front tire up every time you hit the throttle now. So you kind of have to be careful. And um, I know everybody was wondering, it only took about, I don't know, maybe three miles an hour off the top speed. Um, bike says I'm still hitting 50, but obviously everybody knows the bike uh, speedometer doesn't really work properly. so. I'm hitting about 47, 46, 47 right now, and I think I was hitting, I don't know, 48 before. So uh, it's not bad, you know, as far as top speed, um, but the torque, man, this thing is a whole, a whole other bike. A couple of my boys uh, got the BAC 4000 from Emoto Brothers, We're waiting to see what happens when they put those on. Um, but they're also doing the uh, the sprocket upgrade. I think one is doing a 58, the other one might be doing the 60. Um, but it's gonna turn that back into a beast. Can't wait to see it.
so how's the wind noise? I think I finally got this helmet uh, figured out as far as the mic placement and what I need in order to cut down on some of that wind. Looks like the wind is picking up a little bit. Should be a really good mic test. And so even though I got the sprocket on here and it uh, it definitely feels like it wants to lift the front end up when I uh, hit the throttle. Still not quite comfortable with hitting willies on this thing yet. Um, I also have not disconnected my brake sensors um, and that's probably one of the reasons why I'm not doing it yet. YouTube. I'm here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, handle this business real quick and I'll catch you guys on the other side. What's going on YouTube? We back. Picked up our medication. Headed home to administer. Whatever you guys do, please don't ride and medicate. It's not a good look. So this is the worst part of my ride right here. Um, this little street right here gets really, really busy. It's a little throwaway. Kind of connects three different locations of where people want to go. So there's always a bunch of traffic. Just got to keep my head on the swivel. It's a beautiful day. There's clouds everywhere, but the sun is out. Feels good. The last couple days, I don't know, maybe a week almost, it's been 50 and below. Freezing, freezing. Well, <laughs> for California at least. But we got some snow up at Lake Tahoe. We even got a couple of uh, dustings on a couple of mountains out here in the Bay Area. Uh, most of our mountains aren't that big, so we don't usually get snow out here. So whenever we do, it's kind of a big deal. But uh, apparently Tahoe is full capacity now, which is awesome to hear because that's where 
we get most of our water from. And so if Tahoe has a lot of snow uh, in the spring, that snow is gonna melt. It's gonna turn into a lot of the drinking water that we get to drink out here in the Bay Area. So awesome to hear. I will say it does feel a lot better to having this mirror here, uh, just being able to see behind me. Gives me a little bit better uh, sense of safety. So I got a question of the day for you guys. If you want to participate, leave a comment down below. What, uh, Sunron riders, are you guys getting your uh, bikes plated? Let me know down below, drop a comment. Are you getting your Sunrons plated? Um, for those that don't know what I'm talking about, I mean, you probably should, but, I mean, going to DMV and, and uh, classifying your Suron as like a moped or, or whatnot. A couple of my boys have done it already, um, and I guess that gives them the ability to ride on the street legally um, under 35, but it also gives them, them the ability to go to some of the dirt bike trails that we have here in California, or at least in the Bay Area. Um, We've been trying to go to a couple here and there, and uh, the the OHVs, the off-road uh, dirt bike kind of track kind of tracks. Uh, but every time we go, man, they always uh, look down on us and and then start questioning why they're not plated and and it's just been a real hassle. So I think that's kind of why my boys did it at least to to be able to do the uh, dirt bike tracks. But. Uh, just wondering about you guys, man. Are you are you uh, plating your Surons or no? Uh, one of the things that I want to do a little more often now is kind of give you guys my answer for the question of the day. And um, as of right now, no, it's not. Um, I I do want to be able to take my bike to some of these uh, OHB trails and tracks or whatever. So. Uh, I don't know, I, I might do it. Good thing I hear about it is that you only have to register it once um, and then it's and then you don't have to do anything else to it. Um, and apparently insurance for a moped isn't that expensive um, because if you do get your bike plated, uh, you do need to have insurance on it. Um, now the one thing that I'm not specifically clear about is uh, whether or not you need a license for that. Um, I'm sure that depends on what state you're in, but here in California, uh, I'm not exactly sure if you have to have a license in order to, to uh, drive it on the street or whatever. Um, I do have my motorcycle license, so that really wouldn't be a big deal for me. But uh, I mean, that's obviously have to, that obviously has to be in consideration for somebody that doesn't. Uh, but yeah, I'm thinking about it because uh, I would love to be able to get this thing on a, on a dirt bike track. Now, if you guys have followed my channel at all, you know that I, we do a lot of trailing. So, I mean, if I didn't, we could still do that. You know, obviously, most of you guys are aware. Uh, a lot of the trailing that we do uh, is probably more in the gray area of what's allowed. Um, as I mentioned in one of my other videos, I'm kind of the uh, do it and, and ask for forgiveness type of person. So, you know, if a ranger or whoever 
came and, you know, tried to jack me or, ah, you can't ride here. All right, man, my bad. I didn't know. Yeah, most of the time, as long as you're not a... a dick or an asshole, um, and you ride kind of cool around other people that are walking, the children or pets or anything, most of the time, as long as you cool, uh, slow it down, say hi, you know, try to make them feel as comfortable as possible, uh, most of the time, they don't have a problem, man. So, you know, I don't know about anybody else, but as far as I'm concerned, I haven't had any issues um, on any of the trails that I've been to. I mean, obviously, we get a couple of looks here and there, a couple of uh, shaking heads or, or struttled. Uh, whoa, whoa. This guy is just not looking at the road right now, huh? What are we doing, guy? Fuck out the way, man. Need to go to the store, get some uh, medication supplies. That's probably gonna be the ball, guys. I know it was a quick one today. Just wanted to come out and take you guys along on the ride with me when I went to the store. Um, again, you guys wanna participate, go ahead and drop a comment. Are you guys planning on plating your, your surrounds? Let me know how you guys uh, feel about it. I know this is a pretty small channel, so I don't really get a whole lot of uh, feedback. I welcome it all, good or bad, doesn't matter to me. Um, I'm just really out here having fun, so you know, if you guys don't like what I'm doing, that's fine too. Um, but if you do, go ahead and drop a like, comment, subscribe. You guys know how it works. Helps the channel out. I would appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Riding around smoking by my seal. Rolling solo dolo. It's a trip, 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 trip.